Precinct is not the kind of game from what I've seen so far that you can just like jump in and start playing. Like played probably 15 minutes of the tutorial. I'm like, okay. Uh, uh, yeah, I, I, I think like, just just a small tutorial like i don't know if it was the mood i was in originally or whatever but like my brain hurt i was like okay this is this is making my brain hurt i'm gonna stop but i think it i think it has potential it seems i don't know it just seemed like overly complicated and the menus were great but let's let's take a look at it try to find metal or crystal deposits as we'll need them for repairs so you've you've draw you've, you've crash landed on a planet and you're trying to get off the planet that's the that's what's happening now we're going to use these really cool controls uh, WASD to move around. And then we can zoom in and out, and then we can uh, select and then move. Ooh. You have the ability uh, to deploy your command center. All right, so try deploying between two resources optimal access. Deploy your command center using the deploy base button. Uh, deploy base. Deploy base. Uh, deploy base. It's this big button that says deploy base. This is what I'm saying. Like, it's there's parts of it that I'm just like, okay, I get it. And then other parts I'm like, I don't, I don't quite understand. All right, so let's deploy the base. Hey, all right. Now let's begin mining the metal ore deposits. Select the scout with the, line, the, with the laser mining tool. See, if we get it in close here, we can see a couple of them have tools in the top. And then it, it's sort of like all of these other real-time strategies where you like click and then you do the deposit, right? And then select the other one and we'll do this one. Pretty straightforward, huh? Crystal can be used in raw form now. Metal ore needs to be processed into metal bars. I was supposed to get the job uh, to do the voiceover work for this game, but um, they went with a lady instead. I, I, was, I knew I was in the running, but uh, I can understand, like... It's a very pleasant voice. My question is, like, if you just sat here, like, with the, just getting these minerals forever? Uh, this can be activated using a fabricator, which you will find in the command center. So click on the command center. This is the fabricator. fabricator. We're going to put it into an empty medium slot. So these slots over here are what slots you have available which <laughs> I always had, like, I always question like, okay, so you have two mediums, two inside or three inside slots. I get it. I get it. All right. So then we're going to hit here and we're going to tell it to make metal bars. And we're going to say, okay. And then this scout is going to pull the metal bars from this dude and put them into here back and forth, back and forth. Like, my second time through now, it makes a little bit more sense. I don't know if it just makes more sense because I've done it, but it seems, I don't know. Like, I'm not a UI guy, a UI guy, and I'm not a game designer, but I don't know. Let's just, let's play some more. Uh, this can be achieved by, yeah. So now we just have to make, have a bar be made, and then it'll go to the next one. The more buildings we have, the faster we'll be able to produce the materials. Uh, units and buildings gain functionality via components that need to be constructed separately. Components are placed into sockets, a lot of words here, which come in four sizes, small, medium, large, and internal. You can equip a component to the same size socket or larger. Now automating producing metal bars, uh, uh, constructing a dedicated product building. Open the build menu. Construct a small building. All right, so then the build menu is over here. And we're going to construct a building. And I don't... This is just like when we played Astro Colony a little while ago. I'm like, oh, yeah, I have no idea how to, like... I don't have, like, a setup yet, right? So I'm just guessing. So we'll put one there. And you can see it's going to deliver what it needs. Great work! It's auto-saving a lot, which is... Good? Bad? I don't know. Great work. you have now ready to expand your production capabilities to keep up with the future demand. Produce a fabricator in your command center. Select the command center. Produce 10 bars. 
Change the production. All right, so... Do, do, do. Boom, 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 boom. So now we can click on Fabricator and then say, okay. We have 40, 40 bars in there. Items can be moved between buildings and units in a number of ways, such by clicking and dragging the item onto the new building. Other ways to have the request uh, and desire the item. All right, so click the request button. <laughs> See what I'm saying? Like, I'm guessing that's here. Here's the request button. And I'd like to request one of these and say, okay. Okay, so that makes sense. Like, if you've got like a stockpile of them, then you can just request it be brought to you instead of having to drag it across the planet or whatever, right, as we get bigger. You'll notice the fabricator will automatically be delivered without having uh, to specify where to get it from. Yep, cool. And now we can come in here and equip it, and we can make metal bars. And then the little guy is going to run the bar, run the raw materials over there. This is one of these like um, logistics games that I like, but in the beginning is like some. It's whoa! Is it raining over here? Oh, look at how beautiful that is. Just like in the beginning of any of these games, you're just like, ah, how does it? What's the best flow of it? Produce two more buildings to increase metal bar production. So we go build buildings. Like, do you just put them right next to each other? I held shift. And then we're going to need this thing to produce. Two more fabric fabricators. Can we tell it? Oh, we can. No. Produce two. Oh, that's fun, huh? And then we'll say deliver. Yep. And deliver. And then we'll tell them to start producing. Maybe. Do, 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 do. Produce bars, man. Wait, did this one, did it not have enough bars to make the second one? It did not. All right, let's place another building, but this time pr uh, production to metal plates. You place another, wait, so I guess I'll place. So to place the, to make the building, we need 10 bars. And so that's just, we just have those things. And then we need another uh, fabricator. All right. All right. And then I guess we can tell it to continue to produce these. All right, it's making a lot more sense this time. Uh, please make metal plates. Thank you. To produce more mining units, the worker units equipped with a miner component, both of these are produced in the assembler. <laughs> it's also capable of producing circuit boards, which are used in the unit components. Like, I'm not a smart man. So... We need to fabricate an assembler is what it's telling me, right? Which I'm guessing is this. All right, so we built this. Now I'm guessing we, wait, can we socket that too? Hey, 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 all right. I don't know what this is. Visual. All right, so now we need to, we need this thing to produce these for a while. We need it to produce a couple of them, I think, because uh, we need it to, to make workers. All right, we got three circuit boards. Should we try to create a worker bot, which takes one? Sweet. Oh, I did. I made him right here. A variety of ways, the most fundamental of which is logistic network. Make sure the robots that you wish to be fulfilling orders are connected to this network. So this is the little logistic network. And... If, if you tell them, then, then that one starts, like, delivering shit, too. All right, we should build... Can we build... Let's, can we build two more of these guys? And then we'll get a couple more miners out there. And can we switch one of these to do um, metal plates as well? Can 
and, and we should do um, one. That, oh, now I get it. So like we should have ones that are making chips too, right? All right. So click here and I need a couple of these. Two, please. Yeah, it's a fun little logistics game, right? It's like a little bit of satisfactory, a little bit of Dyson Sphere. Feels like Dyson Sphere to me. All right, then we should be able to just drag these. Yeah, look at that. We can drag them right on. And then we should be able to get these guys to just go and grab some more of this. Perfect. Um, use the assembler to make an uplink on the command center, unequip the fabricator, and place the uplink to empty this lot of hard good. Um kind of wish you could see like a pro is this the progress bar of what it's doing all right so we can come in here and say stop make this yeah on the command center unequipped fabricator yep and commit con done basic research so we've got these uh should we do this mm, oh no this start the research when the unit is connected to the logistics network, it will automatically try to fulfill orders. For example, if a fabricator requires ingredients, any idle robot will go to the network and find it. Yep. When they first built, the robots are off the network. Press P to show areas of the logistics. All right, so if we hit P, understood. Yeah, so that shows you like how far the area of control is, I guess, for this particular unit. And then these guys, the new guys, I didn't put on the network, but I guess I will. These guys are working. All right, so you've noticed that the miners have started to reach capacity, so yeah, they're just sitting there. Come on, guys, what are you doing? Good to have a storage unit for excess items. Open the build menu, and let's build a storage unit. Uh, build storage. Like, does it matter where we put them? Gosh, I feel like later on I'm going to be like, oh, I wish I would have done that this way. Let's build two. It's constructing. Slowly. Hey, we got one storage. The store perimeter tells you the unit can be stored in inventory when it becomes full. When the mining bot can no longer hold resources, it will place all of its items onto a storage block, allowing it to continue mining. Select one of your miners, click on the store perimeter, and specify the storage. Here, store this guy. Here, store this guy. Here, store and this guy. These guys I don't think are going to get over, right? All right, I did it. Select basic structures and, put, and press the select research button. All right. Yeah, we're still researching, I think. Almost there. Advanced materials or the next level of development can be produced in the assembler. This feels like if Satisfactory actually had a story. Oh! Expand the range of small buildings and the variety of socket configurations. Whoa, look at this. All right, we'll just pick another one and go that route. Reinforced plates is produced on the assembler. A building with a maximum socket is now available. However, also require reinforced plates. You will need to produce a required ingredients in the command center before uh, setting up a dedicated production. On the command center, produce 20 reinforced plates and two circuit boards. You do it. All right, so that, does that mean we can move this back now? Um, let's produce... Produce four of those. All right, uh, research complete. Now we can do signal readers, portable radar, and signal posts. Cool. So I guess we'll just continue to do this first tier set here. Basic signal deals with sending and receiving signals around your base. It allows your buildings and units to communicate information to each other across distances. Yeah, I'm still working on this. Uh, now I need 20 reinforced plates. Check. While you're waiting for production, did it hear me speaking? That's spooky. Uh, now is a good time to scout your surroundings. 
There are many ruins structured scattered across the landscape. Some have required requirements to open. Oh, so this is like hard drive finding and satisfactory. <laughs> There's a large one on the other side of the metal ore. Continue to produce 20 reinforced plates and two circuit boards. I, I, I will continue to produce those. I guess I could grab one of these scouts and they could go... Right click to investigate. You may need to repair them before you can gain access. Exploring them could provide valuable information and resources. So we need disconnected circuit. We're missing, we need some of these. A circuit board? We need one circuit board? All right. Oh, here's another one. Oh, access granted. So metal bars and whatever this is. High density frame, high tech material. Okay, cool. Oh, so I just need to load up some stuff in here and then I can unlock those other ones. I dig it. I dig it. Uh, all right, guy. Come on back. Can I, like, just put these in there? Oh, I can! Um, okay, we've almost got enough bars. Power is required to run your base. If you go over the power threshold and the efficiency of the units will decrease, making them run slower. Until they're unable to function at all, units have emergency stored power that allows them to return to base in case of power outages. Smart. Now to set up a dedicated production reinforcement plate, start by building a medium building. Don't you tell me what to do. All right, start by building a medium building. Medium building. Come on, Drax. I mean, like, where the hell do we build this? Uh, mm, uh, here, I guess? I want to unlock. So this thing needs just needs one to unlock? Is that what it said? Yep. Give me a circuit board. It's taking its sweet time, isn't it? Like how much is this thing full? So we should take one of we should take one of these guys and get him to do this, right? Can I dump that on the ground? <laughs> uh hi, can you do that or instead? Thank you. How do we stop them from being like... There we go. We take them off the network, I see. All right, now come here. All right, this makes sense. All right, and I transfer one item. Hey! Oh, more of this stuff. Perfect. <laughs> this building cannot be dropped. All right, come on. Come on, Scouty McScatter Pants. Can I drop it on the ground here? Hey, all right. Um, wasn't there, there's one more, right? Let's, guess I didn't need to do all three. Uh, out here, get out there. Uh, we need to make it, we need to have a dedicated like uh, chip maker. Chip maker, chip maker, make me a chip. Hi. Yeah, transfer item. Hey, signal posts. And a energizing plate. Thank you. <laughs> now set up a building with an assembler producing reinforced plates. Produce and equip an assembler. Select it to produce reinforced plates. So let's come in here and have it produce an assembler. And then let's tell it, hey, give me an, give me an assembler. So when it's produced, it'll be delivered. And we'll put it here and we'll tell it, build us reinforced plates. The latest material that we should automate now is the circuit boards. I was just thinking that exact same thing. Stop reading my mind, tutorial. 
uh, circuit boards, which are produced with an assembler. Now, the same process as setting up the reinforced plates. Dedicated building to circuit boards. Yup, 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 yup. All right, good. So then let's do another one of these. Uh, let's put it right next door to it. <laughs> let's have it build an assembler to be ready. Oh, I guess I should put this guy back on the network so he like goes back to work. Sorry about that guy. Yeah, he has two, he has two circuit boards inside. That'll be nice. And it's just waiting for reinforced plates. Hmm. So let's change this one to plates. And then it looks like there's some pathing issues, right? Are they slowing down, having to go around the corner, going around the corner, going around the corner? The grid would define an area of logistic network. Expanding the power grid will also expand the logistics network. Understood. With basic power comes great response. No, wait a minute. Researchers are able to produce power fields. These components allow you to increase the size of your power grid or to start an entirely new separate grid. You should begin expanding your power grid so that you can really reach further resources. Produce a small power field. Small power field. I'll do it here, right? Just one. Silica is the new uh, resource required to research higher tiers of technology. Silica nodes can be found on the plateau. You can produce power fields to expand your power grid to help reach the nodes. Expand your power grid towards the silica research. All right. Set the bot to mine silica. Silica, silica. <laughs> there's this, there's some silica up here where it's raining acid. Is that is that was that where you is that where you'd like me to go? Can you get up here? All right, you can just come right up. All right, perfect. Wait. Uh, let's just do. Let's pull one of these ones that are mining here. How much shit he has on him. And then we'll just tell him to do that. Now that you're mining silica, we need you to get a silica coming back to the base to be processed. First, build a storage building near your base to receive the silica. Shh, please. And then produce a worker bot that will carry the silica from your miner to the storage building. I can do that. Show me worker. All right, there he is. He popped out. And so now we'll tell him to do this and we'll put him on the grid. Basic robotics. Introduction of robotic assemblers allows you to produce units at greater capacity. A robotic assembler. A dash bot. A faster upgrade to the worker bot. Having researched basic signals, you're able to produce radar components. One way you can use the radar is to search for ruins, like the one you explored before. Using an assembler, make a portable radar. You make a portable radar. Show me portable radar. Portable radar. Done. Uh, put the radar on one of your scout bots and set the first search filter to scan for unsolved in the information tab. It's a lot. It's like, it feels like it's a lot. And I realize that like a game like this is gonna have a bit of a learning curve, but like, I'm just like trying to picture the Steam reviews for this game. It's like micromanaging every little part. It's too much. Uh, did we produce, we did, we got a radar. Give me a scout and let's build another scout. Hey, bot's built. All right, sweet. So now we can take, now we can take this. I like to drop it onto the bot. All right. Use an assembler to make a portable radar. Radar on one of your scout bots and set it to the first search. What, where, what? Did I actually do that? Oh, here. It's, it's, it's equipped. It's, it's equipped. Uh-huh. 
Oh, search filter. Oh, so you got to like, you, man, did you see that? I have to like pull it and put it back in for it to show up. Uh, information. Unsolved. Now you can take the scout out to explore the world for unsolved ruins. Remember to be aware of your scout's power to be prepared with defensive turrets. Oh boy, that's a lot of work here. Understood. Congratulations, you've reached the end of the navigational training simulator. Continue expanding your base and exploring your world. All right. Understood. Shift right mouse click to review results. So he'll just scan. Can we send him to like, just like auto do it, dude? All right, so I guess just get out there and see what you can find. All right, do we think we have a good understanding of what this is? So it's... It's satisfactory and Dyson Sphere, but instead of having belts, you've got little robots doing the work. I'm intrigued, for sure. And I think, the, I think that the tutorial does a pretty good job of showing us how to get the basic functions together and how to get it set up. And so I can see, like, also, like, you're going to need to, like, set this up a little bit better, right? Like, Maybe some storage that sits in front of what it's doing, so it's just delivered. And maybe you put a bot that just... So instead of a conveyor belt, right, you put a bot here, a thing here, and you just feed, 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 feed. And then those feed onto the next things. I mean, there's a huge, there's a huge research tree here. Uh, multiple levels, it looks like. Yeah, I think this is a very good like first look at what it is and how it works. Put it on your wish list, and let's see how it progresses. Uh, I enjoyed playing it. The video's over, now it's time for you to do your part. Follow, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.